Hi, I'm Nathan Zampronio, one of your Hawkesbury City Liberal Councillors. I've come down here to Canberra to participate in the three-day Australian Local Government Assembly. It's a conference of councils from around Australia to gather and work on our relationship with these guys. I know that councils don't do the really big things. We don't do macroeconomic policy, we don't do trade deals, we don't do geopolitics. We do roads, rates and rubbish. We do pools, parks and playgrounds. But we need a seat at the table to work well with our federal counterparts. It's worth remembering that COAG, the Council of Australian Governments, that um, was founded in the 1990s, had a seat at the table for local government. Unfortunately, we've lost that seat. When COAG was replaced by the uh, National Cabinet last year, uh, the seat for local government was taken away, which means that we didn't get the opportunity to talk about issues important to local government with our federal colleagues. Now, council uh, relies on rates to get a lot of stuff done, but it doesn't get us all the way there. Hawkesbury Council took in $62 million worth of council rates in the last financial year. Uh, the um, special rate variation that was pushed through the current dominant block on council added to that take by about $7.9 million, not to mention what they did by abolishing the rural residential category and changing the rating formulation. But um, Council's income from other sources, including grants, including federal assistance grants, comes to another $42 million. And I've got to tell you, that money has dried up over a long period of time. Federal assistance grants, the primary mechanism by which we got assistance from the federal government, used to comprise 1% of federal taxation revenue nationwide back in 1996 when John Howard was elected. Today, that has declined to 0.55%, or about half of what it used to be, and that is not good enough. There's a term, it's called vertical fiscal imbalance. What it really means is that the stuff we're responsible for, and the money that we get to do that work, is separating. There's a yawning and growing gulf. Councils take in 3.6% of all taxation revenue across Australia, and yet we are responsible for 33% of all public infrastructure. We're responsible for 75% of all of our roads. That's 650,000 kilometres. Now, what we get from the federal government is very welcome. I mean, there was an extra billion dollars in the most recent federal budget for the uh, uh, Roads and uh, uh, Community Infrastructure Fund. That takes that commitment to about $2.5 billion, and Hawkesbury Council is going to get about $2.2 million worth of that money, and I'm already working closely with community groups to see how that money can be best spent. But I wanted to let you know that I'm down here in Canberra working really hard to put the case to our federal parliamentarians that there needs to be reasonable support for the important work that local governments do. Thanks for listening.